Hello everyone, today in this video we are going to learn how to find cube root of 1728. It is going to be a very easy process and we are going to use the prime factorization method for finding the cube root of 1728. In the prime factorization method, we divide this number by its prime factors and write it as the product of its prime factors and then taking the cube root we can find the cube root of this number. So let's start with our method here. So for doing the prime factorization of 1728, we'll write the number like this in the ladder and we'll divide this number by the prime numbers. So we know the first four prime numbers are 2, 3, 5 and 7. So as this is a even number, we can divide it by the prime number which is 2. 2 times 8 is 16, 1 is carried over, this becomes 12, 2 times 6 is 12 and 2 times 4 is 8. Again we will use 2 as the divisor, so 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 3 is 6 and 2 times 2 is 4. We keep on dividing the number fully. So 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 1 is 2, 1 is carried over, this becomes 12, so 2 times 6 is 12. 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 0 and then 2 times 8 is 16. As we are getting even numbers, so we will divide by 2 only. So 2 times 5 is 10 and 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 2 is 4, 1 is carried over, so this becomes 14. So 2 times 7 is 14. Now this is an odd number, so we are going to use the next prime number which is 3. 3 times 9 is 27 and 9 is divisible by 3. So 3 times 3 is 9 and 3 times 1 is 3. Now the number is fully divided and we got the factors of 1728 as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 3. Taking cube root on both sides. So this is the cube root of 1728 and cube root of these numbers. This is a cube root. So we can write these numbers in the form of cube. So this is 2 cube times 2 cube times 3 cube. And these all numbers are cube. Cube root of a cubic number is a number itself. So this is 2 times 2 times 3. So the cube root of 1728 is 12. This is our final answer. We will box the answer. I hope this video is helpful to you. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more math videos. Thanks for watching.